What's your name? Olivia. Hello, Olivia. Can you tell me what this is? A cloud. A cloud. Do you know what a cloud is? Do you know what a cloud is? It's kind of like a form of air. Kind of like a form of air. What if I told you that I could take telephones, computers, TV sets, and connect them to a cloud? What would you think about that? Mm, that would... I don't know. Do you think it kind of makes sense? No, not really. Not really? Why is that? Because... can't talk. But telephones can? And people can? Yeah. So if I could take people and telephones and computers and the TV and connect them in ways to let the cloud talk, would that be cool? Yeah. Yeah. So imagine, for example, that the cloud is really like a big network. Do you know what a network is? Yeah. It's like... Not really though, but it's kind of... So a network is a way for, for example, two computers that are connected either through the air, through the cloud, or through some wires to talk to each other. So, imagine if I told you that actually the cloud is a big network. Do you know what the internet is? Yeah. What's the internet? The internet is where you can like find out things and go on things. Where are, some, where are some places you go on the internet? I go, you can go, um, like on Facebook, you can go. Facebook, yeah. Or you could go, like, on some games. Some games. Um, what if you wanted to find something? Do you know what the name of the place is if you go to look for something or search for something? No. You don't? You mean you don't know Google or Bing? <laughs> Really? All right. Well, so imagine it then if we have this collection of smaller clouds that connect to each other to form one big cloud. It's kind of like taking all these little networks here, 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 yeah. and connecting them to the Internet so they can talk together. Yeah, like connecting, like, if there was a small family there, a small family there. A small family there, the money to form that we put it together would make one giant family. That's right. When Daddy's on the road, how do we talk sometimes? Like, sometimes we talk on telephone. Right. Or sometimes, sometimes, um, sometimes you have like, um, you have, um... Skype? Skype. Skype. And what's the cool thing about Skype? What can you see on Skype? You can see, like, um... What can you do on Skype that you can't do on the telephone? You can... You can... You can, um... Write things. Yeah, you can chat, right? Instant yeah, you message. Can chat. And what's the most important difference between the telephone and Skype? Um... When, when I talk to you on Skype, what do you, what do you get that you don't get on telephone? Um, you get video. You get a video. Right, and pictures. Yeah. We can see each other, which is kind of cool. So that's kind of like having a combination of TV, computers, and telephone all in one. Mm -hmm. Pretty neat stuff, huh? So here's an interesting question: What's in our house? What's one of the most annoying things w about trying to use the internet or the cloud? If it, like, if it, like, does something that you don't know how to fix, uh, and it, yeah. like, s shuts down something yep. that you really need, like, look up s s where, like, a mall is or where a movie is in. Right. And, and what about if, uh... Do you have a computer? 
Yeah. You do? Do your sisters have a computer? Yeah. Yeah? Are they their own computers? Yeah. Yeah. Is it kind of a pain sometimes to have to fix those things? Yeah. Yeah. Who has to do that? My mom and my dad. Right. Your mom and your dad. What happens if your sisters are using their computers? Because you don't really have one of your own, right? Yeah. What if you wanna? What if you wanted to get on the internet to play a game or something? And Allie or, or your sister Chloe was busy using their computer for something else. I would have to ask, like, you, like, um, my mom or my dad. Yeah, it's kind of a pain, isn't it? Yeah. Would be kind of neat if you could just imagine, if you could just say, oh, well, what I'd really like to do is have, an instant computer I can just use any time I want, connect from anywhere, right? <laughs> That'd be kind. Do you, uh, when you, when you log on to play your games, do you have to install, uh, software every time? Do you have to take a CD and put it in and click things and... No, those are actually for only kind of like video games or like... Some, some games. Special games. But the games that you usually play, you just log on and... Yeah, you just log on the name. Your name and your password. Do you share yeah. your password? No. That's a good idea. Because then people can log on to, like, your account or something, and then they can, like, switch things up, oh. like, everything. So if you were growing, like, turnips in a farm game, all yeah. of a sudden they might destroy your crops. Yeah. That would be bad. Yeah. Mm. Good. So don't show your password. Mm -hmm. So the cool thing about the cloud is some of these games run in the cloud, and the nice part is all of that information and data is stored up here, so you don't have to worry about storing stuff here, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of having to install software off of a CD every time you want to use it, or even, even once, which is a pain, you can fire up a web browser mm -hmm. and connect to the Internet, and the game and the applications are all sitting out here in the cloud provider, which is pretty neat, right? Yep. You don't have to worry about, do you, do you have to make copies of your game? No. You don't have, do you have to back up your game and store it on something and put it away somewhere? No. Do you have to worry about um, running out of space? No. Mm, pretty cool options if you use the cloud, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I asked you before if you knew what that shape was. And you said it was... A cloud. Right. Do you know better about what a cloud is today? Yes. Well, thank you. And thank you for sharing your information with us.